Okay, making histograms from the data. Um, histograms are a visual way of representing um, the, the data when it's grouped up into um, price brackets. So the first thing you need to do, your histograms tab is empty at the moment. So you need to go and get just the prices of your um, houses for, for, say, Manchester to start with. So I'm just going to grab these, copy that. Okay, control C. Go back across to histograms and edit, paste the values in of that. Okay, so we've got those there. Uh, we need to make sure they're uh, they're all the same like this. Uh, I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit and put it left on there and get rid of the decimal points. Okay. The next thing you need to do is just highlight the data, the prices none of the labels or any of the other stuff and just go to insert chart okay now it, it tries to guess what you want which is a line chart there which is not what we want to start with so we need to go across drop down list and you should see histogram of price in here and there you go you've got a histogram now you need to tidy this up a little bit okay um it's just a few things you that you can do so if we start with the in the customizing part over here. If you make a mistake, you can always undo, but there's your title and you click on it, there's the chart title, the name of it. So, um, history, uh, price um, for Manchester, histogram of Manchester, whatever you want to call it really, you want to change that. You can decide if it's a specific font that you want. Okay, on this, so I'm just gonna, Alter it slightly there. I'm going to center it, put it in bold. Um, get back again there, center the the title there, bold, there's the color, so you can you can change these things if you want to. You don't really need the legend, so you can click on that, go to the legend, it'll come up here and go to none. Give you a bit more of a spread this across a little bit. So what we've got is £350 to £650. There's three of those, five of those, yeah. It's quite, the distribution of the prices is quite even when you look at it, okay? Because if you drew the curve over this normal distribution, it's a bit more skewed down towards the cheaper end. There's more in there. Um, but you can sort of visually see that. Um, I'm just going to change some of the uh, axis titles here. So this is the horizontal axis title. I'm going to put that to the same font that I used a second ago. Um, I'm going to make that more bold, stand out a little bit more. Um, might make it a little bit bigger font size. See what what looks good. Yeah, happy with that. And then I'm going to go to the vertical axis. Now there is no title for that at the moment for this one. All axes should have a title. So I'm just going to call that frequency in there. Okay, and then I'm going to go and, and set it up the same as I did. The others, I don't know what font size I use now, is it? Well, that'll, that'll do there. You can change the label, so now these are the labels here, so I'm gonna change the font again for the labels of that, and might want a color, I don't, don't really like that sort of grayish color, so that, stand out a little bit more there. Okay, um, and you know, you can mess around and play around with those things. So once you've got that there, you can save the image, Mixed picture view, you can copy the chart, etc.